Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February wrap up and my March TBR. So February is kind of a short month. <laughs> it only had 28 days this year and I got done seven books, which I am super proud of myself. Like with January, I was really proud of myself because I did do five books and I had been in a really, really big reading slump. So that felt really good. But in February, I just kept reading and reading and reading and it was just so great. Like I felt so, so, so good about my reading month this month. I am so proud of myself, honestly. <laughs> so we're going to get right on into talking about the books I read in February. So one of the first books that I read this month was Cloaked in Shadow by Ben Alderson and I loved it so much. It was definitely one of my favorite books this month. I mean most of these books were my favorite but this was definitely a really great start to February and I absolutely loved it. It was so good, so amazing. It has elves, it has cool magic, elemental magic which is really awesome. I love reading about elemental magic. And ben, ben just did such a really, really good job on this book. I also read the novella that goes with it, and that is Prince of Flames, and I really enjoyed that one as well, and just a great start to my reading month. The next book I read was actually an audiobook, and that was Leia, Princess of Alderaan by Claudia Gray. That one was so amazing. I love audiobooks. I love really good audiobooks. I'm very, very picky on the ones that I listened to and I absolutely freaking loved Princess of Alderaan. It's set a few years before A New Hope and it centers around Leia and her duties as the Princess of Alderaan and I loved it so much. I feel like in the original trilogy you don't really get to go too in depth into Leia and her life so it was really really cool to actually get to see who Leia is as a person and who she was as a younger teenager. I also loved the addition of Amelin Holdo in that story because Amelin was kind of a really big character in episode 8 and I really loved her in that movie The Last Jedi and I was really excited that she was kind of like we got to see a little bit more of her as well her backstory in Leia Princess of Alderaan and we get to see that she's actually good friends with Leia and that they've known each other for a really long time so I absolutely love that audiobook I totally recommend it the next book I read was also by Claudia Gray and that was Bloodline and actually Allie from Allie Allie Rose Reads. She is the one that recommended me both Leia Princess of Alderaan and also this book as well. And this one is actually set a few years before episode 7. So this one was super interesting as well. We definitely get to see more into Leia as a character, who she is in her slightly older age. She's about, I want to say, 40 something in this book, 47. I can't remember how old she is, but she's somewhere around that age. And it's really, really interesting to kind of see all of the events that lead up to episode seven. And I just, I loved it so much. I hated a lot of the characters in this book. Like there were two characters that I just completely hated so, so, so much. But then there were also a lot of new characters that I absolutely loved. Like, and that I would love to see like their own spin-off books because they were just so interesting. And so, yeah, I definitely really enjoyed this book. And I'm glad that I actually still have it with me that I can show you guys a physical copy because it was really good. The next book I read was actually for school and that is a play, Richard III by William Shakespeare and I really enjoyed this. I haven't really ever like thought of reading this play before, like I was never super interested in Richard III. I have a few tabs in here. Uh, I actually really enjoyed it. We saw the movie as well. I, I have mixed feelings on the movie. I don't really know how to feel about that one. But I did enjoy the play. I gave it about four out of five stars. It was super cool. I, it was very uh, simple, but I really liked it as well. Like I just love villains. So kind of getting to follow a villain as the main character was really cool. So if you're into that, you might also be into this play. And I mean, it's Shakespeare. I love Shakespeare. I just love his writing. It's amazing. So of course I'm gonna like it. The next book I read was also an audiobook, and that one was Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I absolutely freaking love this book. I only gave it four out of five stars, about four and a half, but I really enjoyed it. There were a few things that I just like didn't really like about this, but you can go see it in my review of that book. It was just, I just, it was so magical and kind of like every other audiobook I've tried to listen to after that is just kind of not 
you know, gotten the same hype for me, like gotten like the same feelings for me. It was just so good. Like I could totally see Caraval being like a really cool TV show or even a really good movie. Like it just had that like quality. And it was kind of what I wanted from the Night Circus, but it like it actually gave it to me and like I don't know. Like I was so surprised that I actually liked Caraval because so many people didn't really like it. And I was just like, okay, well, I went into it with really low expectations but I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I would have enjoyed it half as much if I had just read it. I might have still enjoyed it, but I really loved the audiobook. So if you're kind of on the fence about Caraval, I totally 100% recommend the audiobook. It is done so amazingly. And the love interest guy is kind of like, he kind of reminds me, I said I, okay, I said he reminded me kind of of Christian Bale, but also a lot of Diego Luna. So if you, if you've seen Diego Luna in Rogue One, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He's basically Diego Luna, but he also kind of has a little Christian Bale in him, just a little bit. <laughs> and the very last book that I read for February was Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. And oh my goodness, this book was so amazing. Like I had the best reading month in February. So Labyrinth Lost was so good. It is an urban fantasy and it's just all about these brujas and brujos. And they're kind of like witches, but not and I really love them. Um, the main character is Alex Alejandra and I absolutely love her because she has such a similar name to me. I'm an Alexandra and I also used to go by Alex when I was a kid so I could totally relate to her <laughs> and it's just really cool. It takes place in New York. They kind of go to this underworld sort of fairy tale land place. It's really interesting. It's kind of like a spirit world. I absolutely love it. It's just, it, I don't know. It's, just, I just fell in love with this book the, like the second I read it. I could have literally read this in maybe like an entire day, maybe less than that if I'd really like put my mind to it. But I didn't want to finish it too fast because I wanted to enjoy it, but it was just so good. It was amazing. All right, on to the books that I would like to read for March. The first book I want to finish in March is Bruja Born by Zaretta Cordova. She sent me this arc and I'm so thankful and I just, I love it so much. Like this cover is so beautiful. It's just so gorgeous. And this one actually follows Alex's sister Lula and she has some love troubles. And I, I don't want to give too much away about what this is about. It's really good. If you like Labyrinth Lost, you're going to absolutely love this book. Like, I, I don't want to say it, but I might like this one a little bit more, like a little bit more than Labyrinth Lost. I have to say it. I have to say it. I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm like about, I want to say a little over 25% of the way through. And it is just so good. Like, I, it's so hard for me to put this book down. I don't want to stop reading it. It is so good. I just, I love her writing. I love her characterization. I love the familial relationships that they have, like the sisterly bond. I just, I love that. I think that's really, really special. And you don't get that a lot in many YA books, even, you know, fantasies or urban fantasies. You don't really get that familial bond. And I just, I love it. And they're sisters and they're not, they're not looking to tear each other down. They're, they're helping each other out. And I just love that. I love that about this book. The next two books are kind of a given because Restore Me is coming out earlier in March. And that is Unravel Me and Ignite Me. I really need to get into these two books. I started reading the first page of Unravel Me and I thought it was going to have like a total breakdown. I love this book so, so, so much. And I can't wait to get back into Ignite Me. And I haven't read these books since I first read them, like a few years ago. So it'll be really, really exciting to kind of see where I'm at in these books and see what I think about them. I know I'm going to love them. The writing is beautiful. I reread Shatter Me earlier in, or I guess later in 2017, and I really enjoyed that. So I already know I'm going to love Unravel Me and Ignite Me. Yeah, I'm just so ready for Restore Me. The next book I want to read in March is another Star Wars book because I am totally on a Star Wars book kick. I love it so much. And that is Dark Disciple by Christy Golden. And I am really excited about this book. <laughs> My brother was kind of laughing at me because he's like, you know that's Star Wars The Clone Wars, right? And I'm just like, yes, I know. 
it says it down here but I'm really excited for getting to read this book that didn't really make any sense but I'm really excited to read this book I also have a few other Star Wars books that I'm supposed to pick up from the library soon I have Aftermath by Chuck Wendig that I'm really excited about and then I also have the Rogue One novelization which I'm really excited about so I am so into Star Wars books right now and I totally blame Allie it is her fault so if you see me reading even more Star Wars books, it's, you can blame her. Blame Allie. The last two books on this list were also on my February TBR list, but I kind of got sidetracked by a lot of other really awesome books. So that is both Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo and Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I really need to get into these books. I am going to make myself get into these books in March if it's the last thing I do. So I really need to get into these ones. I'm I'm just so pumped about these books and I don't know why it's taken me so long to get to them. I really, really need to get to them. All right, so that was my February wrap up and my March TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below about the books that you are planning to read in March. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.